Did y'all know it was a $1 million giveaway in Dalton? Did y'all know that? I bet y'all didn't know that. What up, Fresno? Sharon, I appreciate it. Did y'all know it was a million dollar giveaway courtesy of, Fa uh, I was about to call her Fawny Willis. Courtesy, they all starting to run together for me now. Yes, it is. Somebody sent this to me. I have not watched it yet, so I'm reacting to it for the first time. But there is a news article that's basically breaking down that despite the fact that they got multiple different water main breaks in Dalton, despite the fact that this chick is under duress, despite the fact that she got everybody on her head and everybody is watching her and all eyes is on her, she never showed up when it came to the shooting, the recent big shooting that hit the news over in uh, Dalton, the shootout. Shout out to A.L. I'm going to read that shortly. But she giving away a million dollars. Now, again, I have not seen this. I don't know what it is. But let me just go ahead and review it. Make sure y'all hit a like for the algorithm. Subscribe to the channel. And turn on your notifications. This can't be real. This cannot be real. New complaints tonight about Dalton's mayor with village trustees raising questions about her security detail. It comes in the wake of a wild shootout Wednesday morning. WGN's Julian Cruz is at the Village Hall with more. Good evening. Henyard's extravagant spending at five-star hotels and first-class travel on expensive out-of-state trips first uncovered by WGN investigates Shout out the to new Nikita. scrutiny as the controversial South Suburban mayor announces a $1 million giveaway on Facebook. $1 million giveaway. Do you know anything about that? I'm not sure of anything like that. Dalton resident Andrea Smith and others we talked to puzzled by this Facebook post with a smiling Tiffany Henyard, the mayor of Dalton and Thornton Township supervisor touting a $1 million giveaway. And it's a shame that you do get dragged um, in the media um, for things people just say, hearsay. Dalton's mayor. Is this real? This cannot be real. No way, no freaking how. Now I got to go on Facebook and pull it up myself. Time dog got to go on Facebook and pull it up myself because I need to see what's going on over here in Dalton. I'm very curious as to how things are playing out out in Dalton. Let me go on, go on Facebook, on the Facebook. You know how old people say, hey, have you been on the Facebook lately? No, I haven't. But I'm definitely, oh, look at these beauties up on my Facebook. Um, let me see. Tiffany. There she is, a super mayor. Is that her? A super mayor? Is this her right here? It's her, the super mayor. Let's see, 19 hours ago she wrote, it amazes me how people try to turn good into evil, but the devil is the devil is a lie. We must band together to fight this evil. Who's the evil one? Better believe one thing is for sure and two things is for certain. Is she taking my talking points? I will always stand in the fire for my people. I'm giving away a... Oh, Tiffany. <laughs> Tiff, say it ain't so. I'm giving away a million dollars to help people with their mortgage or rent. So if you need help, come out and apply applications online. You giving it away, Tiff? Or is this as a result of what uh, Thornton Township and all of that other? Oh, God. It's Super Mayor Tiffany A. Henyard, the People's Mayor and People's Supervisor. I'm going to give a moment for people to come in so I can talk about this $1 million giveaway. So, I'll share it with the world because y'all know one thing about your Super Mayor is I'm going to always, always put on for my city. Yum, yum. That part. <laughs> so come on in. I'm going to give you like two minutes, two minutes. I know y'all been waiting. Try to wait till everybody get off work before we did this live. He said, I'm always put on for my city. Yeah. I'm on for my city. She been listening to Jeezy. I love what I do. And I love making sure that the people 
get everything. I'll see y'all. This needs to be its own hey, show itself right here. Just one big reaction. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, 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 boo. Service. Um, you got to have a heart for the people in order to do this job um, that you see me do so effortlessly. And I just want people to um, know that I love you and there's nothing you can do about it. But today, I'm going to educate you on a couple things. Before we start with the $1 million that I know you all like tuning in for, I want to tell you what the township actually do. Um, a lot of people don't know the township exists. Over 80% did not know Thornton Township exists. People in South Holland, Lansing, Riverdale, Harvey, it's said that people did not know that you had a resource center in your own backyard. For those that don't know what a township supervisor and board does, we are a resource center. We help you with all the things uh, as it relates to a necessity. So your light bill, your gas bill, your water bill. I even help bury your loved ones. Um, people don't know that. We help here at the Thorn Township up to $1,000. So if you're struggling and you cannot afford to pay for burial, you cannot afford to uh, cremate a loved one, uh, please reach out to us. That's in our general assistance department. A lot of people don't even know that exists, but it exists here in your township. And you must, let me repeat, you must live in Thornton Township in order to benefit from these resources that we have. Um, something else that GA does, which is general assistance, we also help pay um, other bills so, such as mortgage and rent to assistance. So if you need help with things like that, guys, I need you to reach out. Call our line, 708-596-6040. Again, 708-596-6040. Um, and then press the extension for whatever you need. We have a food pantry. We have transportation. We have senior services. We have after-school programs. We have so if here's the thing and i'm glad that i had dr nikita on the show because dr nikita basically broken down and said that um in a nutshell that thornton township or this entire position or this this specific place exists for the people but there have been reports and there's been news articles uh and you know all of this stuff that basically highlights how They've been slacking on making sure that they allocate the resources properly, but then at the same time, they're using it, and, and she's acting like she's giving it away, when in reality, it's already allocated for the people as far as for the people to do whatever it is that they needed to do, right? And so she's leveraging this and saying that, oh, I'm giving this away to the people, when in reality, the job of the township supervisor is to make sure that the resources is allocated appropriately, Right? I don't know, man. I'm, I'm, I'm very confused as to what the hell is going on. We also have wheelchair ramps that we give to our seniors and our veterans. So I just want people to know um, that I care and that I really, really, really give up my life for community, people I don't know. And it's a shame that you do get dragged um, in the media um, for things people just say, hearsay. And I just wish that people will check facts before you judge. Don't judge anybody because at the end of the day, you cannot judge anybody you only got one person to answer to and that's you and god because when it's that time everybody that you've been kicking with hanging with uh keeping up mess and turmoil with guess what they're not gonna be nowhere to be found so i just need you guys to take a moment and understand that i am human too and i do uh have a heart and feelings and emotions too and you guys see that i wear it on my sleeve majority of the time but um um i'm gonna Go through it, but at the end of the day, watch me grow through it. And I want you guys to see this as you see me elevate. Um, I've had amazing opportunities before me. I got the opportunity to go to the White House. Yes, the White House. Uh, thank you, President, uh, for the invite. And I thank you for all the love and support that you... How many of y'all... How many of y'all... <laughs> Listen, 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 listen. We all know who she's referencing, what she's referencing, and who she's talking to. We all know who she's talking to and what she referencing. We know she watched the interview. We know she check into the show. It ain't just your people. You ain't paying. You ain't silly. You ain't confused. You know who she talking to. It's, it, look, she she's speaking directly to us without necessarily saying saying. Hey, you you getting it?
Talk to us. Talk to me. Listen, listen. Baby, 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 baby. Baby, you can't win this. You can't win this. I don't know who you think you're talking to and when you was talking to him, but I'm from Detroit, Michigan. 48221. Green Lawn between Norfolk and Chippewa. And somehow, some way, they let me get a microphone. I don't know why they let me do that, but they gave me a microphone. Family, you are really, really barking up the wrong tree. I am like Omar in these YouTube streets. I am Omar with these. See, listen, listen. It's better to be my friend than it is to be that other side, on that other side. Tiff, 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 Tiff. Hand, hand. I love you. I love you like a, like a father loves love his son. I love you like a dad loves his, his pet iguana. I love you like, like a man like his side chick. I genuinely do. And I'm going to be honest with you. This is on everything. This is on my father's grave. I have, re I have refrained from coming at you or talking about you or or deep diving into you as much as I possibly could. Like it's been people that's around me like, oh Anton, let her breathe, let her go do it. I, I've been chilling. And you know why I've been chilling? Because I don't take it personal. Like you're a public figure and you're using taxpayer dollars to do some of the most egregious things that's happening out here in these streets. And so because I'm objective, I just have to report based off of what the information is given to me. That ain't got nothing to do with me having anything to do with you personally. You know what I'm saying? So if people want to express how you misusing funds or taxpayer dollars and stuff, then I'm just trying to be cool. But don't don't do this. This is listen, keep it. Keep it. G. You are an elected official. You don't want to go down this path. You really, really you don't want to go down this path because I will I will haunt you in your dreams. I will be at the steps of Dalton. I will be showing up in your city. I am the last person. I will be doing my show from a hotel room night, right next to wherever it is that you exist at. My security is deeper than your security. I guarantee. I promise you. My security is deep and they better paid. They are better paid. This is the last thing you want to do. Now, I'm not petty because in 2024, I declared that I was going to be different. But let me go. Let me continue to see what this is saying. I didn't know we was going down this path today. I didn't even know that you did a Facebook post. I'm just discovering it just like the rest of the streets. You're going to give the soft land. I got a lot of great information to tell you when we did have our conversation. Yes, me and the president of the United States had a one on one conversation as it relates to what we're going to do in the soft land. So stay tuned for that because I'm going to show you that I'm going to tell you that. And I want you to stay um, focused and have um, tunnel vision when it comes to the mess, because there's so many messy people, but they don't want you to get your flowers. And I am here today to give you your flowers as your super mayor, um, Tiffany A. Henry. So first, I'm going to start with transportation. We have a transportation department here in Thorne Township. So if you're watching, if you're a senior, go uh, for a show out and enjoy all Thornton Township building in Riverdale. 390 to 400 people. That's strictly on a Wednesday. 800. Your name, um, two big seats. And I have um, become um, uh, a person that care about where we go from here. I'll say that. That's what I care about. I care about planting the seed and watching it grow. I care about um, laying the foundation so those that come after me uh, won't have it as tough as me. But as I always say, I am the Martin Luther Kings. I am uh, the Malcolm X, the Harriet Tubman's, the... Uh, oh, Jesus Christ. This is called This is called extreme narcissism extreme narcissism okay listen 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 y'all gotta be careful of what the heck is going on out here in these streets because if this chick is not delusional and narcissistic at best i don't know what is 
she literally just compared herself to Martin Luther King, Harriet Tubman, Malcolm X. Jesus Christ. Rosa Parks. I am Rosa Parks. Those individuals. And they too have stayed, stood in um, controversy or a mess because they was the first. We talk about them, we read about them in school. And now you will read about your true person, which is Superman Tiffany Henry, in the schools. I will be in the history books. I will be forever talked about, written about. But uh, um, I'm going to make sure my narrative is out there as well. I don't want no one telling my story or writing my chapter because we're in chapter two right now. And in chapter two, you're going to see everything change course. Everything. Because now I am talking. Now I'm going to tell you the facts because everybody put all this stuff out there. And now I want you to see. She talking to you, doctor, doctor, doc, Nikita, Kita, baby girl, Kita. You know, she talking to you, right? It really is with truth, paperwork, truth, then judge. Don't judge people off of what people say. Cause that, that reminds me of high school. You know how you was in high school and people just talk about people. That's she, what this is right now. We all grown. Hey, she get, she getting off her rocks right now. This was supposed to be about helping the people. When it came to <laughs> Thornton Township, and she, listen, she said, look, you won't smoke, I got you. She got an opportunity to really, I didn't know that Tiff was getting this in. All right, Tiff. Hey, Keita, Keita, you hear what she's saying, right? But we still gossiping and having a watch party. But I hope you're watching this watch party, though, right? We watch Because this is what we do right here, we the watch real watch party, uh -huh. um, where you want to hear from your leader, where you want to hear from your person that actually governing uh, the towns. Um, please love on each other, guys, because life is short. I say this all the time. Um, you here today, gone today. It ain't here today, gone tomorrow no more. I just want you guys to know that um, this too shall pass. I'm going to keep it there. Uh, the million dollars. I know you are all tuned in for this million dollars, so we're going to talk about that. But I just want to keep on encouraging people to keep on keeping on. Because guess what? They talk about Jesus Christ, right? And he died for our sins. She can't stop talking about herself. She can't stop. She can't stop talking about herself. She's supposed to be talking about what is going on with the people. And she out here talking that talk. Ooh -wee. Listen, all you got to do is let me know and we can get to it. We can have a real life conversation right here. You ain't even got to leave Dalton. We can have a, all you, listen, you ain't got to sneak this. Is that what we doing? Is that what politicians do? They sneak this now? So I just want you guys to know that um, people going to always have something to say. And people don't talk about people that ain't doing the work. Obviously, you're doing the work. You're doing something right. They only talk about those that's, that's running circles around people that have been there for years. People have had these seats for years. And uh, what they have not done is people have not given back to the people. So every program that we create, every opportunity that we make, we make sure that we put it for the people first. When me and my team meet, we talk about how can we budget our funds for community. We talk to um, people in the, in the... Does that also include that trip to Vegas? First class? The communities. And they tell us, hey, uh, we are like a water park fence. Let me use that example. Hey, we are like a, a ice rink, a outdoor skating rink, or you know... Hey, she, you know she's talking directly to you, Doc, because you mentioned the ice rink and the, and the skating rink or whatever. And so since she was talking about it, now she's speaking specifically. But let me tell you how people sneak this, right? What they do is they throw out something before they actually reference what it is that they want to address, right? So let's say, for example, I wanted to talk about your hair. But then I didn't want to make it seem like I was directly addressing your hair, but I still wanted to address the issue. What I would say is, you know, because I don't even like when chicks wear nails like this. And then even when they wear their hair like that. It's an ad hominem, but it's a white lie combined, all mixed together. And you know what makes her so delusional is that she actually genuinely, I believe, I don't believe that she thinks that she's wrong. I think that she really believes that she's right.
She genuinely is standing on business. And when she go to sleep at night, she say, yo, they attacking me. Or it's because I'm black or because, you know, I'm the next Martin Luther King and Harriet Tubman and, and Rosa Parks and Malcolm X. And they talked about them and they talked about Jesus. What makes you think they're not going to talk about me? She genuinely believes that she's right. And so they sneak at these, they, they throw things in as real strategic in order for them to really, really be able to run in the victim Olympics. You're right, A. Dunn. Run in the victim Olympics. Let's see what she got to say. No need in talking about the news. She talked about it herself. You know what? We need another food pantry. Those are the type of things that we talk about. But what I want you guys to know is there's three referendum questions on the ballot. The main one I want to talk to y'all about um, is the mental health. Mental health is really dear to my heart because a lot of people come here to Thorn Township for help because they're dealing with mental issues. So whether it could have been a definite family mental illness, it has somewhere to turn to. It's a shame that every other township have voted for mental illness um, um, resources to be in their township. We have to do the same exact thing. And currently right now, I want to make sure I provide a way so our people can through chemo and radiation. I'm going to bring on Tanika because I want you guys to know to do better. I'm, I'm innovative. I'm the one that's going to actually go out, do the work, do the research. Uh, I always ask the lawyer what I can do and what I can't do. And when they give me the green light, I come and I show up and show out for y'all. So she's talking to the lawyers now. I'm, I'm curious. Do she go out and do the research when she went out to Vegas, when Doc, or when she go out to these conferences and Doc go out and she actually, Dr. Nikita was saying that she actually go out and she was going to the classes, but Tiff was over there in the hotel room having a good time. I wonder if she was doing that. Does she go out and do the research or does she make sure that the other people go out and do it so, while she out here having a good time? Interesting. You know, I didn't allocate time to spend this amount of energy on this. Mm. And I'll produce it here on my own platform where uh, people can't dictate uh, what they tell you. Because I hate when they cut and chop stuff up. They tell you half of what I say and not the entire truth. So I just want you guys to know that we have Township Talk every fourth Wednesday of the month. It's from 5 to 7 p.m. where you will hear from Supervisor Tiffany Henry here in Thorn Township. Location is 333 East 162nd Street. Please show up if you want answers to questions. Uh, please come down there. What day is that? Let me see this again. Hold on. Let me let me back up. On. Search. Uh, I always ask the lawyer what I can do and what I can't do. And when they give me the green light, I come and I show up and show out for y'all and I'll produce it here on my own platform where uh, people can't dictate uh, what they tell you because I hate when they cut and chop stuff up they tell you half of what I say and not the entire truth so I just want you guys to know that we have township talk every fourth Wednesday of the month it's from 5 to 7 p.m. where you will hear fourth Wednesday 5 to 7 p.m. fourth Wednesday Every fourth Wednesday of the month, okay. From Supervisor Tiffany Henry here in Thorn Township. Location is 333 East 162nd Street. Please show up if you want answers to questions. Uh, please come down there. Last, um, was it last month? This month. This month, it was really good. Well, we in February. So last month, it was really good. Um, people came out. They listened to every department and what they do in every department and if they needed help or resources they was able to talk to them and get it right then and there so what i want people to know because my job is to educate god gave me this platform and with this platform i'm gonna make sure i give the information out because y'all know the same our people will what perish for lack of knowledge i want you to know so i'm gonna give you the tools to know what we got going on also computer lab we have computer lab is open at that I just mentioned today. Food box, call the food pantry. They will deliver it to your home. You must be a 75 senior, minutes, senior disabled uh, person or better. So make sure you do that and we will make sure you get what you need. I have done, which is make history, which is history. Positive outlook and just stay focused. And it don't bother me uh, due to the fact that I got a lot of angels around me and I just love you. Come on, thank you, I love you, baby. I love you, and I love you, Justice. I love you because they always keep me uh, grounded and keep me just just strong. I, I, without them, man, huh? 
I, I don't know what we'll do. And thank you to my parents too. Y'all are awesome. And yeah, your daughter still made history. So that y'all can still gloat because people don't like them to talk about what I have done, which is make history, which is historic. Um, people want to talk about negative stuff. And it's a shame that you can't even appreciate the moment that you have made right here, right now. So um, continue to do that. And that's why y'all see me uh, be funny about it. Because I can only tell my story through humor. And when I do make videos of things, that's just how I can express it sometimes. And it's amazing that the news take clips from all my videos. It's just, I don't understand it. You just want an interview, just call. <laughs> but except those other, no, never. But yeah, just call and I will, I will help. I will help. From all my videos, it's just, I don't understand it. You just want an interview, just call. <laughs> but except those other, no, never. But yeah, just call. I'm going to respond to this in a minute. Come on. Let's oh, and I will, I will help. I will help because um, I did go to the White House. That was dope. Um, all the other videos you saw, I do know that I am a politician as well. And with that being said, you might see a video where it might be a, a diss video or something. But that's doing my campaign mode. Campaign mode. Two different things. Campaign mode. Business mode. Campaign mode. Nah, that is different. So I just want you to understand it. So when they be taking the video, chopping it up, acting like I made it up as as of now, and it was probably two, three years old from when it was election season. So I just want to uh, make sure that you know the truth, Tiffany Henry. Okay, what nobody else say, all you got to do is judge me for what I do. Because you got people around here not liking people because of what somebody else said. You don't even know the person. That's like somebody come and tell, tell me not to like you, and I don't even know you. But now they put all this dirt on your name and I'm walking around not liking you for what reason? Make it make sense. Why? We are grown. I keep saying this. This is not high school. Stop it. Judge me for what I do. My work speaks for itself. Not what people claim I do, allow me and say I do. I won 24 lawsuits. So it can't be Tiffany. Uh, yeah, I know y'all wanted to be Tiffany, but it's not Tiffany. Sorry. It's the people that's actually keeping up the mess and tearing down their communities in the process is the problem. And y'all have to stay focused on that. Pay attention to that. Pay attention to those that throw the rock and hide their hand. Pay attention to those that's pointing the finger when it's three more pointing back. Pay attention. But you're not. I need you to pay attention. So now that's why I'm going to speak. And I'm going to tell you the facts over fiction. Facts over fiction. So it's called True Speaks. Uh, Tiffany Henry on the Move Podcast. Uh, thank you again for watching. Tiffany Henry on the Move Podcast. Good night. I'll see you guys Monday. Download the application. I love you, and that's nothing you can do about it. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So, what shall we do about this? Um, what should we actually do about Tiff, y'all? How do y'all think we should handle this? I'm gonna let the people. I'm the people's mayor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm the people's mayor today. How should we handle this? What do you th what do you guys think we should do um in order to ensure that we get the best results? Cuz remember guys, we don't want y'all attacking her. I know it's well over 2000 people that's watching this on multiple different platforms right now in real time. We don't want y'all attack we don't want y'all attacking her. I'm not advocating for y'all to do anything that's out of character. But I'm just curious, how should we address this? And realize, you know, her mouth is moving, making sounds. Hold her all the way accountable, petty and all. Super mayor pull up on Wednesday. Uh, bipolar interview and pull up. Get there, try to get it. I don't want to know. Bring the raft. Cause see, they watching me on the Millionaire Morning Show. They not, they don't know who I really like. They don't know. Road trip tonight is the Village of Thornton board meeting at six thirty Central tonight. Interesting. I can't do it tonight. It's too, it's too. You know me, my my schedule is kind of scheduling right now. What up, though? What up, Marigold Transportation Group? All right. All right.
I gotta figure this out. I gotta figure this out. I gotta figure this out. Oh, it's on YouTube? All right, cool. Central is an hour behind us. So what is that, 5.30? Hey, email it to me, Nikita. Doc, I'm gonna call you Doc. Email it to me. So you wanna play tough, Tiff. Okay, Tiff, 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 Tiff. I got you, baby girl. Let me read some of these super chats and then we're gonna continue over with the show. I gotta, I gotta, a, this sneaking suspicion that this show is going to get way better over the next month or so. It's going to get way better. Shout out to the people and the people's mayor. Shout out to you, Tiff. I got you. This is, is, this the, is this the game that you wanted to play? You should have just shut up. You should have just left me alone. Should just let me alone. All I do is report on what the news reported on, and I just evaluate it from my own perspective. Now you wanted to play this game. Should have left me alone. Why you don't just leave me? Why you ain't just leave me alone? How can God be for both of us at the same time? Well, my God is telling me to to, to deal with you a different way. How can you have angels uh, around you when I'm the person that control the angels? I'm the I'm God's biggest warrior. I've been pretty dormant lately. I've been chilling. I've been looking for something to do. I've been bored out of my mind. I've been over the last two weeks. I was sitting at home and I was taking care of uh, my wife because she had surgery, and I was trying to figure it out. I was live streaming from the crib. I said, "I'm. I. I need purpose. God, tell me what is it that you want me to do." I honestly. When I woke up this morning, I brushed my teeth, I did my simple meditation, and I talked to God. He said, I'll show you. 